Memories with Meg. Meg. So I recently had the totally cool opportunity to go to Florida. We have family out there, and so I went and hung out with our family. We did all kinds of cool stuff. We went paddle boarding. We went to a baseball game. Go Wahoos. We got to hang out by the ocean. Ate some really excellent food. Southern living, man. And probably my favorite thing that we did was, under the close supervision of a park ranger, we were able to watch sea turtles hatch. Now, green sea turtles, and pretty much any other sea turtle for that matter, are super endangered. Super, super endangered. And because they're super endangered, they're protected by all kinds of laws. Florida Statute 370, the Endangered Species Act of 1973, and basically what the law says is that no person may take, harm, harass, pursue, hunt, wound, shoot, kill, trap, capture, or attempt to engage these turtles in any way. You're not allowed to touch the turtles, you're not allowed to touch their eggs, you're not allowed to touch their nest. They're endangered. For real. Don't even mess with it. There's usually like a square of protection with a sign that looks kind of like this one. And the sign basically says, don't even think about it. This park ranger that we had with us opened up a lot of opportunities. Because she was licensed, she had all of the rights, she had the proper supervision, we had the proper training beforehand in order to go do this at all. The training basically said don't touch anything. But because of that, we got to get really, really close up to the nest, not like touching it or anything, but really close to it. When you put your ear against the sand as they're hatching, you can hear them digging up. The little baby sea turtles are digging. There's really like, I guess I didn't realize, but there are tons of them down there. When you hear this digging, there's like a hundred sea turtles down there like clawing their way out of this nest that is buried under a ton of sand with like 50 million of their brothers and sisters crawling on top of them. And as soon as it starts to get really really loud, really really constant, the top of the nest will kind of cave in because they're digging all that sand out. And this little concave thing is where they pop out. It took kind of a long time, <coughs> three days, before the nest that we were watching actually hatched. So we had a lot of practice playing in the ocean and building sandcastles and doing other things while we waited. And really, I feel like we just got so lucky the night that we were there because all of a sudden, as we're playing in the water, we're being fairly reverent. But we hear <laughs> this very quiet, guys, guys. Oh, so we run over just in time to see this little teeny baby turtle head pop out of the sand. And it was like really like honestly bigger than I expected. The breed that we got to see were green sea turtles. The little guys, I want to say, were probably like this big. Fairly big for sea turtles, I guess. I don't know. That's what the ranger told us. But this little guy pokes his head out of the sand, and he's just kind of clawing his way out. And the ranger kind of gets down next to the nest, and she starts throwing the sand out so that the turtle can get up out of the nest easier, because it's this giant hole by now. And this one little brave soul of a sea turtle is the first one to come out, and he gets out of that hole, and he just books it for the ocean. The little guy poked his head up out of the sand, and started immediately clawing his way out of the giant hole. And I guess the way that their instincts work is they go towards light, which generally is the moon, which generally is over the ocean. This little guy found the source of light. The moon was out. It's the most adorable thing I've ever seen, honestly. His little flippers are just going to town. He's just going nuts, just paddling through the sand. There's little ridges in the sand from where the tide has come in really high, there's footprints for where people have been running around. He really is just, he cannot be deterred. He made it faster than I expected him to, being, you know, 50 feet or so away from the ocean. And it was so adorable when the ocean came and he just kind of started walking through the wet sand and the tide came up and just took him down. And it was like, oh, little guy. So we follow him down, we watch him go into the ocean and we hear another, come on, the rest of them are coming. So we walk back over to the sea turtle nest, and honestly, it's like that scene in The Mummy where the scarabs, like, come out of the guy, and, like, they're just everywhere. That's a lot more morbid than the sea turtles were. That's just what it made me think of. Because it looks like a bug nest. It looks like there's a nest that just explodes with all of these teeny creatures. It looks like bugs, but they're turtles. And as soon as you see, like, their individual little bodies, it's way cuter. Like, really, 60 more turtles come just crawling out of the ground all at once. And our job was to count the sea turtles and kind of watch the ones that were on their way to the ocean to make sure that they made it, while the ranger was running around and grabbing all the ones that were disoriented. Because I guess since there's moonlight as well as city lights, it gets confusing for them. And so some of them will go towards the city lights instead of the moonlight, which is the wrong way. 
So the ranger was running around and just kind of redirecting the little turtles that were having a hard time. My family and I were watching, being good little counters, chasing off all the predators because there was like a ton of birds out. I can't remember what kind of birds they were. I want to say water skimmers or something like that. Skimmers? But there was these birds out that were totally going to eat the little baby sea turtles. Like, the circle of life is horrible. And so we chased off the birds, counted the sea turtles, made sure they all got into the ocean safely. And by the end of it all, there ended up being 89 turtles from the nest. There were these little sea turtle tracks just all the way down to the ocean. Just these little teeny, like, scooch marks where the turtles were crawling their way down. And all of the baby turtles made it into the ocean, thanks to our careful eyes. Great at watching things. And the park ranger's help in making sure that they were directed to the proper area. It was incredible. Like, I've never really seen anything like it. I don't think that anyone could see anything like it. And it really just happened to be right time, right situation, right people. And we got to see these green sea turtles, this endangered species that probably many people won't even ever get to see in their lives. And we got to see 89 of them born. How cool is that? So, that's that. It was really super incredible. Very once in a lifetime. Hashtag blessed. Bye! You see that? Right there. It's the new Dragon Ball Z game. Budokai Tenchi Kai 57! What is it? Ah, Xenoverse. Dragon Ball Xenoverse. Oh, I'm clever. Hey, bye!